Hello everyone, welcome back to Foxtech. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to increase the touch sensitivity on your iPhone. If you are experiencing issues with the screen not responding as quickly as you'd like, or you're having trouble with accidental taps or gestures, this video is essentially for you. Let's dive into the settings and make sure your iPhone and make your iPhone more responsive to touch. First, you want to open the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down and find the accessibility section. This is where you'll find all the options to tweak and improve how your device responds to your touch. Once you're in the accessibility section, tap on a touch. This will bring you to a page with several options to adjust the touch settings on your iPhone. The option we are interested in today is touch accommodations. In the touch accommodation section, you can manage how sensitive your iPhone screen is to your touch. One of the key settings here is hold duration. This settings allows you to set how long you need to hold your finger on a screen for it to register your touch. If you find that your iPhone is not responding quickly enough, you can lower this duration. Another useful setting is ignore repeat. This option treats multiple taps as a single tap, which can be useful if you are dealing with accidental double taps. You can adjust the interval to suit your needs. Tap assistance is another feature you might want to explore. When enabled, any single finger gesture can perform a tap even if you slide your finger across the screen. You can choose whether the tap is registered at the initial or final location of your finger. These settings can greatly improve your iPhone's touch responsiveness, but it's important to find the right balance for you. Everyone's preferences and needs are different, so take some time to experiment with these settings to see what works best. After adjusting the touch accommodations, you might also want to check out the haptic touch section. This is where you can set the sensitivity of haptic touch, which used to be known as 3D touch, and you can choose between how fast and slow the, um, I mean, the response times are, depending on how quickly you want your iPhone to react to your touch. These settings give you control over how your iPhone responds to your touch, making it easier and more comfortable to use. Remember, it's all about finding what works best for you, so don't hesitate to tweak these settings until you get the perfect touch sensitivity. And that's it for today. Uh, this video is about how to increase touch sensitivity on your iPhone, and if you have found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it and subscribe to Foxtech for more videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.